Hi, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford. Thank you for joining me for this Facebook Live. We are talking today about fall foliage in South Louisiana in the New Orleans area. It's almost Thanksgiving, which means that it's finally time to see a little bit of fall foliage as opposed to the rest of the nation where they get it earlier, sometimes as early as September, as opposed to late November and December, like in South Louisiana. So we are seeing a little bit of color changing on the trees. Maybe you've seen that around the New Orleans area, and I just wanted to go into the science of that just a little bit since it's Thanksgiving week. Maybe some children are off of school, some students joining me, and maybe if you're just hanging out on your Tuesday afternoon, joining me as well to talk about all these beautiful fall colors that we're seeing on the trees. So again, in South Louisiana, we're so far south that our days are not as drastically shortened as we get into winter as farther north. And also, of course, it's not as chilly down here uh, as opposed to farther north. So the leaf change is not as drastic as what they would see farther north in the United States or other parts of the world, but we do get a little bit of change and I've seen a little bit of that here and there. So wanted to talk about that today. So the idea with why we see the changing fall leaf colors is basically all based on the chemicals within the leaves. So I have some fancy leaves here to talk about all the different colors that we see and the different chemicals that go along with that. So. First, we'll start with green. That's the usual leaf color. And to be honest, in South Louisiana, in New Orleans, this is the main color that we see pretty much on most of our trees most of the year until they um, eventually fall out. But we do have all these other pretty autumn colors that do show up sometimes. But with green, the main color is, uh, the main chemical is chlorophyll. So remember, if you do, going back to our middle school science classes, where we learned that chlorophyll is responsible, of course, for photosynthesis and keeps the, uh, the leaf uh, living, but as the days shorten and we get cooler weather in the fall and into the winter, there's less chlorophyll. It begins to break down, and that allows other chemicals and the colors associated with those to start showing up. So green would be chlorophyll, but as we get the cooler weather, it breaks down and we begin to see other chemicals such as orange would be beta carotene. If you see colors like red, that would be anthocyanins. And if you see colors like yellow, that would be flavanols. So these are the different chemicals that begin to show up. And these chemicals, as far as when chlorophyll begins to break down and go away, and these chemicals begin to show up, these chemicals absorb the green uh, light waves, the yellow and uh, blue, and they reflect these beautiful colors like red, orange, and yellow. So that's really mostly why we see those colors change. Now, it is a little interesting if you are, especially in an area farther north in New Orleans where there's a bit more leaf changing action going on and it's a little bit more pronounced and drastic. Uh, the brighter colors, because sometimes they can be almost highlighter colored, the brighter colors are more likely when, first of all, the summer is drier and also when the autumn has sunny days and especially has cool nights. So sometimes a cool snap, especially early in the season, for example, maybe early September or mid-September, that can trigger the colors to begin changing a bit earlier. We don't really have to worry about that too much in New Orleans. We don't see a whole lot of that happening, but it is just something to do with the weather for sure that kind of begins it. And then of course the daylight hours contribute to that too because that's when the chlorophyll begins to not be um, as dominant and begins to break down. So in South Louisiana, by the way, I've been looking up what are the trees that change and things like that. So there are a few for sure that produce either very bright yellow Yellow, like a beautiful ginkgo tree or other oranges or sometimes maroons and reds and things like that. So some of the biggest trees are the most common trees that do change in South Louisiana. So these would be responsible for the little bits here and there that we see mixed in with our green in New Orleans. A ginkgo, sweet gum, southern sugar maple, Florida flame, red maple, 
um, Chinese pistachio and a few other different types of trees. And by the way, thank you to Dan Gill for um, providing me with those um, different types of trees. And then also, of course, there are lots of flowers that produce beautiful fall colors. And then we also have uh, different types of plants that can change as well. So there are, if you're looking for it, many options uh, for those color changers, even this far south in South Louisiana. It's just that we really don't have as much of a drastic look as the rest of the nation. And by the way, I've been checking in on our foliage map. You may know SmokyMountain.com has a foliage forecast map, and they have shown that almost the whole nation at this point has gotten to the point where we're past our peak foliage. Only the little sliver along the Gulf Coast is still looking for about peak um, fall foliage. So that's very typical of South Louisiana, from Louisiana, from New Orleans, and that's where I'm talking to you guys from, of course, right now. And when we're this far south, it's really not until about Thanksgiving, and then I sometimes notice some of the most brilliant colors actually closer to Christmas uh, in New Orleans, and you've probably seen that too. So it's more of a late November, December kind of thing as far as our very far south Louisiana foliage. So that'll do it for now. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember that we uh, do have more of these uh, weather lessons from time to time. I haven't done one of these in a while, but um, I think I'll get a little bit more into these and get you guys updated on some different weather topics here and there as we go forward. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving, of course, by the way. In New Orleans, it's looking like it'll be probably a mostly cloudy day and kind of warm. Highs will be in the upper 70s. They're certainly not extremely uh, fall feeling or really holiday feeling, but also not a terrible day. We might have a few showers, a little bit of drizzle or something here and there, and that's about it. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. Happy Thanksgiving, and good luck spotting the beautiful fall foliage. I'll see you guys next time.